Hello Tabnation, it's Tom and today we're going to do a Auto Hockey version 2 quick tutorial. Uh, in the last video I did about this, I showed you how you could just kind of drag and drop like your Auto Hockey version 2 thing onto the executable. But we're going to show you how to actually launch it just from directly with the script. <clears throat> so Auto Hockey's uh, when you save in version 1 and both 2, it's just .ahk, which is really annoying. So we're going to create our own, which is AutoHockeys2, as you see here, hopefully, uh, but .ahk2. .ahk so, I just made two simple scripts. So we got version 1 right here, which is just uh, Hello World message box. I'm just going to comment out here V1, so it's easier to recognize. Then over here, I made the exact same thing, and this is for version 2 auto hotkeys. So obviously, if I try to launch either one of these as .ahk, it's going to try to run it on version 1, just because that's my system's default. We don't want to do that. So I'm going to leave version 1 as .ahk, but version 2, I'm going to name it when I save it as .ahk2. But the system's not going to recognize that, so we need to do that. And here's how we do that. So, right here, as you see, it's not showing. It doesn't launch if I do it. It's going to ask, what app do I want to use? So we're going to do that. We're going to say more. We're going to scroll down to the bottom. We're going to say, look for another app on this PC, because obviously Auto Hotkeys is not showing up here. We're going to do that. Then we're going to get our navigation here. So I currently have the executable saved on my desktop. Obviously, you're going to navigate to wherever it is for you. And let's see, here we go. We have Auto Hotkeys 32, and this is, as you see, file version 2. We're going to double click that, give it a second, and look at that. It now actually does, instead of like this little script thing with the H, it does kind of like the actual executable looking thing. That's fine. You can always go into properties and change the icon through there. Um, <clears throat> So you can always go in and uh, somewhere in here. I always forget how to do this. But you, you can change the icon uh, back to this or if you want to create your own custom icon, which would be pretty cool. If someone makes a version 2 of this kind of looking thing, definitely send it to me because I would love to use that. This is kind of weird having it like the solid green H. So yeah, we'll launch version 1. Press F1. There's our message box. We'll launch version 2, push F1, and there is our message box. Alright, that was a quick tutorial on how to set that up to better work for your system. If you have any questions or run into any issues, definitely let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys on the next one.